Have you ever wondered, what do you do if the essential oils you're using aren't getting you the results that you want? They're not working. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three things that you'll want to think about or maybe change as you're using your essential oils so that if they're not working for you, you can make sure that you're getting the results that you're looking for with essential oils. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacy Paulson. I'm an essential oil educator. I'm also the mother of six amazing children, and we've been using essential oils for the past 13 years. And in that time frame, we've only gone to the doctor once for sick care because we've really had tools on hand to be able to use them effectively with lifestyle choices, essential oils that we have on hand. So in this video, I really want to help you to know, especially if you're new to essential oils, or if you just haven't been getting the results that you want, and maybe you're a little skeptical at this point of do essential oils really work? I wanna show you what you can do in order to get the results that you're looking for so that you're not that skeptic anymore because they really do work if you know how, just a few simple things. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about quality because that's really important. The second is frequency. And then the third is combination or blending of essential oils. So this first one, quality, that is the number one reason why you may not get the results that you're looking for with the essential oils that you have because there is a difference between a synthetic essential oil that smells like that plant, right? So essential oils are just plant extracts. And so in a laboratory, industries, companies, science, they've discovered how to create those molecules that will create the smell of a certain plant. So for instance, lavender essential oil has a certain smell. That can be recreated in a laboratory. It's a synthetic form of lavender. It can be marketed as lavender, put in a lot of different products, it smells like lavender, but it does not have any of the health benefits of lavender essential oil. So number one is, is it thin synthetic? Because if it is, you're not going to get the health support or the emotional support that you're looking for. And it can also be dangerous for you. It It's like, toxic, right? If you're breathing in or using or consuming or putting on essential oils that are, that are synthetic, you will be dealing with side effects, toxins, um, it's contaminating your body. It's like breathing those plugins that are synthetic smells, you're breathing those toxins in. And so that's what it is basically. The second is that with quality, because the essential oil industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the world, that most of the oils that people are purchasing, the companies that are purchasing, they're purchasing through a broker because there's only a few brokers, there's only a few that they can actually get source essential oils from. And most of those, it's like 80 to 90% are adulterated in some way. There might be a small percentage of, for instance, lavender essential oil in there, but it's been diluted or it's been altered in some kind of way. And so what I recommend is whatever essential oils you're using, you make sure that company has the reports, they have available to you the quality testing that has been done by third parties to verify that exact bottle of oil, that they have tested that entire batch that that bottle was bottled from, and that you can get access to that. And what I'll tell you is most companies, they don't give you that. They don't have access to that. They don't have a way, they don't have the ability to test those oils on such a small level to be able to tell like, oh wait, this has been adulterated in some way. This has too much of this chemical in it. That is a trigger that it's synthetic or that it's been altered in some way. So that's most of the essential oils on the market. So if you're dealing with oils, you want to know, number one, that it's 100% pure, that there's no fillers, it's not synthetic, it hasn't been adulterated, changed in any way, because there's magic that happens when it's just purely from the plant. There's this synergistic effect among those uh, chemical constituents in that oil. Plants are, are magical, our bodies are magical, like trying to create you know, an AI me. It's a different person. <laughs> number one, that it's pure. But then the second thing is that it's potent. It doesn't just need to be pure, but it needs to be potent, especially in the chemical constituents that it's known for. So for instance, with lavender, linalool is just one of hundreds of different compounds within lavender, but that's one of the calming components in there. So if you're wanting to use lavender to be calming for yourself, to be able to fall asleep, to be able to support some of those anxious feelings and the mind chatter, right? Then it needs to be high in that, not synth synthetically injected into it, but it needs to be naturally high in, in that component and it should be consistent. Like lavender that you're buying from that company should be consistent. So when I buy it in January and then I buy it the next December, it should be pretty similar. Yes, there'll be a little bit of differences, but it should be cons pretty consistent with those really important compounds that are found in there. And so number one, it needs to be pure. 
and it needs to be potent. So if you're getting an oil that is like that, then you're going to get a far better result, right? You're gonna use far less oils to get that same result. So if it's been diluted down and you're putting one to three drops in your diffuser and it's not doing anything, that might be telling you it might have been diluted and I need to up how many drops that I'm using. So you're gonna use far more, even though you purchase it for less, you're gonna use far more essential oils if it's not pure and potent, right? So number one, you need to check out the quality. Everyone that knows me knows that I use doTERRA and without any shame at all, because I know that they are the largest essential oil company on on the planet and the reason why is because they go directly to the source of all of these oils they work with the growers they work with the distillation process they have third party the best labs on the planet to be able to test and verify that those are pure that they are potent that they are consistent and so every time you're going to get a bottle of oil it's the same thing so dealing with our health for the past 13 years this is something that's been really powerful to me i first started with some other oils and wasn't getting this that effect that i was wanting and at first i thought well maybe essential oils don't really work right maybe it's just a fluke but then when i switched and started using something that was consistently pure and potent then i started seeing different results so number one quality the second one is frequency so you want to look at how often you're using those essential oils depending on for what it is so for instance my daughter has had this cough and this kind of ache and pain in her throat when that came up it's you doing something consistently and often so just a couple of drops in some water we were using some different oils blends one of them was on guard and then we did oregano and tea tree and lemon she would gargle this as frequently as she could she's sitting there watching tv like hey let's gargle okay before you're going to bed when you get up before you're eating something after you're eating something like the frequency can be helpful but it's just a small amount right frequently and so if they're pure and you're doing this you will see faster results better results from that frequency so sometimes you just need to up the frequency another thing you might consider is just creating a habit around it so if this is something that you've been dealing with for a while you can expect it's going to take a while to get rid of that challenge to overcome that challenge and so you'll want to create consistency of using that it might be i set up a regimen morning afternoon and evening but to help you to remember that, sometimes you put sticky notes. Sometimes you divide your oil bottles up and you put them into smaller bottles. So you have some in the bathroom where you're gonna use it in the morning. Maybe you're gonna use it during lunchtime. And so you put a bottle where that is. And then if you're going to do it at night, you put a bottle maybe down by your kitchen sink, right? So they're in strategic places to help you to create that consistency. But you'll want to do that consistently for a while. Sometimes, you know, if we've been dealing with things for years, it might take months to see um, progression in that. And so having faith, again, if your oils are pure and they're potent, that using those, creating that consistency is what will be helpful over time. Now, the third thing is, okay, so you've been doing this, maybe you're using them frequently, but it's still not working. This is where you start layering different oils. So if you're using something topically, then layering is really powerful. Instead of blending it all up together, so for instance, I have my Lymphodina uh, roller blend here that has juniper, grapefruit, lemon, lemongrass, cypress, all in it, right? This has been phenomenal. But let's say that somebody's not getting results with this to get kind of that lymph drainage going on, maybe you have the puffy eyes, maybe your ankles are swollen and you've blended them all together because you thought these oils were good for that and you blended them in a roller bottle and you've been applying them and it's not as effective as you want it, you can layer them. Now it takes more time and effort, but layering actually is more powerful, more is absorbed and you'll get a, a stronger effect. Now, sometimes you're just not going to do it. Like I'm not going to spend that much time putting together five, six oils, open the bottle, put a drop, put a drop, you know, like rub it on, put a drop, rub it on. Um, you might not do it. And so that's oftentimes why we will create these roller bottles because it saves us time when we're doing that. But no, like if you're really working on something, layering it is really important. So I've been dealing with a skin tag on my arm right here. And so what I found helpful, like once I switched to layering, I put a drop of oregano and rub that in. And then I put a drop of frankincense on top and within just a couple days I started seeing like the results of it it's almost gone another thing is if you're applying them topically is using a carrier oil so that would be like fractionated coconut oil because it captures 
or carries those molecules captive on your body when you're rubbing them in. So more will stay on your skin longer to be absorbed. It gives your skin time to absorb them instead of flashing off. Combinations of oils. So sometimes you might've just picked, for instance, you're dealing with sleep challenges and lavender is a go-to for that, but you're not seeing the effect of it. So you might look in your resource guide if you haven't watched my video on what you need to know. One of the things you need is a resource guide. You might look up in your resource guide or in your app and it has multiple oils listed there. You might decide to try a different oil because your body is unique and the essential oils are unique that your body might respond better to roman chamomile for calming and sleep it might respond better to cedar wood is another great essential oil for calming and going to sleep so you might just switch out the oil or you might do a combination so maybe you're doing lavender and cedar wood and see how that works for calming so that you can fall asleep and you will come up with your perfect blend and so it, it is kind of this um, science and art coming together and some of the patience that we might need to have in order to find the solutions that we're looking for. But the resource guide is helpful because it will give you the most likely oils to help you with those things and then you'll go from there. So it's okay to blend them together to make it easier to have the combination of those oils to really magnify and create this synergistic impactful effect. It's okay to put different oils in your diffuser if you're using them aromatically or taking things internally you can put them in a veg veggie cap so maybe you're not just using I usually use On Guard is our immune boosting one that works wonders, but sometimes when we're really working on something, I might do the On Guard with Melissa and black pepper. And I put that in capsule and take that. Those are some tips. So if oils are not working for you, again, recap number one, you wanna make sure the quality is exceptional, like the highest quality. And I always recommend people trying doTERRA. If you haven't tried doTERRA, if you've been using oils and you're not getting the results that you want, reach out to me. I can get doTERRA oils in your hands um, at 25% off. If you wanna try a sample before you jump in, just reach out to me, I can help you with that. Again, you'll wanna then re think about frequency and you'll wanna think about combining, kind of switching things up. So I hope this has been helpful. If so, go ahead and give me a like, thumbs up, follow me if you want more essential oil tips as you are moving along in your journey.